lovelies and welcome to my first wash day series. I've broken up a large wash day into different parts based on you know what I would be doing to my hair and this first part is apple cider vinegar. So you can do an apple cider vinegar rinse for several different reasons. The properties of apple cider vinegar are amazing. It helps to balance your hair and sebum pH. It has antibacterial and antifungal properties to cleanse and clarify, to fine curls, reduce frizz because of that clarifying. It also adds shine and reduce the porosity of your hair. So what I like to do is I add Add about two-thirds full of the way of my spray bottle apple cider vinegar um, you can do whatever sort of proportions you'd like depending on how strong you want it to be and then I add the rest of it with water that way I can water it down a little bit my hair is really dry frizzy really dirty probably three weeks at this point and as you can see it just looks really brittle and that's because a lot of my ends as you know are really damaged in this video so you can see how much help my hair is going to need from this apple cider vinegar. So what I do is I'm just going to take out these flat twists that I kept in the front of my hair thus far and I'm going to also section my hair into four. If you want to work with smaller sections you can but I like to work with four sections just because otherwise I might end up having too much apple cider vinegar running down my head after if I did too many small sections. So as you can see my hair here is dry, thinning, really frizzy and not defined. I take my apple cider vinegar bottle and I will pull my hair taut and spray the roots. So this is going to be my main method for the entirety of my um, apple cider vinegar rinse. I like to just spray the roots and massage them in. I like to pull my hair taut while I do this a lot of the times too, which helps my hair to stretch out and that way I can get the roots really good and really clean the scalp. And then what I do is I just run my fingers down the length of my hair with the apple cider vinegar. And what you guys can see happening is it actually helps to define my curls a bit. It elongates my hair so you know it's adding moisture to the strands of course. And as you can see I like to see if all the apple cider vinegar comes off my fingers. You'll know that your scalp is soaking it up when your fingers get drier. And as you can see I just sort of run it over the length of my hair to add the properties to all my strands. And then I just twist up that section. After I twist up the last section, I just move forward to the front section. So I just loose out these flat twists. Too bad I'm not keeping them because the definition's been great. They've been in all week. And I just go ahead and add that outside of vinegar to my roots again. And I really like to take my time massaging and really getting a scalp massage out of this. I believe the most properties that my hair gets from this apple cider vinegar is from the scalp. Um, I used to do apple cider vinegar rinses all over my hair in which I would even rinse um, and spray the length of my hair more so. But I stopped doing that because I really want to use the apple cider vinegar on my scalp to balance and clarify my scalp. And this really helps me to start defining and clarifying my hair right from the roots, which as you guys know is the dirtiest part of your hair. So as you guys see me running this through the length of my hair, you can see my hair curling up as much as it can, being damaged at those ends, and being more defined, soft, bouncy. So it's not just water I'm adding to my hair, but I do feel a bit of slip. Like my hair really enjoys feeling the apple cider vinegar. I do love the properties a lot for my hair. And I just go ahead and do this to each and every section after that. to iterate that this long wash day series is going to be full of really like nutrient rich things you can do for your hair while it's damaged and I don't usually do all of these steps on one single wash day so this is kind of the most I could do for my hair in a wash day and I wanted to break it down for you guys into several parts so you could really realize what the different benefits were for each different step.
So now I feel really confident that all the dirt and product buildup that's happened over the past few weeks has been broken down and clarified off my scalp because of the apple cider vinegar. My scalp really does feel fresh and I really see it as almost a shampooing of my scalp specifically, but the fact that it leaves my scalp with moisture is one of the best benefits that I have from apple cider vinegar. So that was the first part guys and be sure to catch me in the next five parts that are coming up for this wash day series. Thanks for watching you all and I'll see you in my next part.